Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are a developer like me and uh, you want to actually enhance your development like report or dashboard or even write DAX code better, this is the video for you. Just stay tuned and watch this to the end. So today we're going to assume that this dashboard we did not create it. We received it from our producer so, and we just got hired in this particular company. So if you open this particular subtitle here, we don't know what the subtitle is doing and we want to know exactly what the subtitle is doing. And I believe you must have known what is wrong with this particular code right now. So this code is written in a single line. So if you hold the control key down and minus and plus key it to zoom in and out. So this code is written in a single line. What we want to do right now is to use a tool called chat GPT to actually format the DAX code. And not just formatting the DAX code that matters, we want to as well add comment to actually tell us every single line of the code what they actually do. So enough of the talking, the very first thing you have to do is to control A to highlight every single line of the code, then control C to copy. So once you have done that, let us head on to this particular tool called chat GPT from OpenAI. Okay, we are here. The first thing is to give ChatGPT a command. So the first command we're going to give to ChatGPT is to actually, you know, um, ask ChatGPT a question. I'm going to say, can you help me format this DAX code, comma, add comment to, so add comment to explain To explain each line of the code. So the next thing now, just put the question mark here, shift enter to go into the next line, then control V to paste the code we have copied. So once you have done this, hit your enter key and let us see the magic. So it's working on it. Let's give it some time. So it's formatting it and at the same time adding comment to every single line of the code. So it's done doing that. So the next we're going to do now is to actually, you know, go ahead and copy the code from here. So we head back to our Power BI desktop. So we don't want to replace the code with this particular old one. What we can do is to create a new merger to paste our new code right in. So let us go ahead and control V to paste it right here. And as you can see, we have the code being formatted and as well we have every single line of the code commented the comment is not just a generic comment the comment is about what this particular line or variable is all about so you can read through every single comment and i'm going to advise you do not keep your comment here except you want to use it as a documentation for any other persons that will come here to look at it and know what exactly is going on so this doesn't look very clean and the next step to go is to remove those comments. So if you are to remove those comments, it's going to take you a while to do. So you don't have to do that. So once you have read through what it is, you have to go back to ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT to have the comments removed. So let's do that. So I'm going to say, can you remove the comment? So it's going to actually rewrite this again and have the comment removed. Look at it, it's writing the same thing and the comment is removed. So if we copy this one now, then we go back to our Power BI desktop. So we can now replace the one we have just copied, Ctrl A and Ctrl V to paste it. And you can see how this looks like. So I want to save this for you. We to actually compare this with the original version of this code. So I'm going to place like uh, three here to differentiate it. Then once I have done this now, I'm going to go back to the main subtitle that we actually copied to chat GPT for we to see the difference. So this is the original version of um, this is the original version of the code here. And this is what we have just transformed. You know, chat GPT can do a lot. So what if you go through this particular, you know, dashboard and you click on this, you want to know exactly 
the measure that actually created this. So you can track the measure by clicking on any of this place. You see this particular icon with a check mark and you click on it and I uh, click on this particular ranking. This is a huge lot of codes. So what can you do to understand exactly all the functions this person had used to actually create this particular, you know, visual. So the next thing you can do right now is to still copy this to chat GPT. All you need to do is to give chat GPT the right prompt. So I want to understand what is going on right here. Then I'm going to control A and control C to copy. So go back to chat GPT. So what I'm going to do now is this. I'm going to tell chat GPT to like, uh, I'm going to say, can you help me explain this DAX code? Okay, shift enter, we paste this in. That is exactly what it is. So if I go ahead and hit my enter key right now, we only ask for explanation and that is what we are going to have. So let's see what it is. So do you look at that? It has rewrite, uh, it has some kind of rewrite the docs and is going through all the functions and the measure that presents in the code for you. So if I go now and look at this, you can see uh, top product and the bottom product. Calculate the rank of product based on the total revenue measure in descending and ascending order, respectively. So top salesperson and bottom salesperson, then it's the same thing. And you can look at this. So I can now say, if I don't understand this, I can say, can you uh, explain all the DAX function used in this code? So if I hit my enter key, Let's see what we're going to have next. So do you look at that? We are learning. So this is how you can actually take somebody's work and go through it line by line to understand exactly what the person had done and as well, all the function the person had used, what is their functionality? Can you look at this? So a lot of information here for us. So this person actually used rank X all selected value and containing uh, contains strange right here ascending and descending so you can read through this and understand what it is so with this now if we are very patient enough to read through what chat gpt has done for us here definitely if we go back to this particular code right now we will now see like okay this is what it is and let me show you what is the functionality of the code we have just actually you know ask chat gpt to explain to us so if we select product group what we see is actually top product group and we can select the bottom product group if you look at it this is what we have and it's dynamic we can actually reduce it and just show the top three and uh, we want to see it by salesperson we can do that that is not just all one of the you know a good aspect of, aspect of this is that if we hover over it, we have a dynamic tooltip that gives us the product name and as well the product image that has this particular, you know, sales or revenue and all of that. So if you have not watched this on my YouTube channel right here on this platform, you just have to go ahead and take a look at how we got this created from the scratch and you'll have the understanding. So use your own data to actually check it out and see how you can actually do exactly what I have done with ChatGPT to help me explain, format, and comment my code, and as well, remove comment. Happy learning. Welcome to Data with Decision.